Hello everyone. Welcome to AE Graphics. Let's preview what we are going to create today. Let's get started. Open After Effects. Create a new comp. And rename it to Bullet Train. I am using 1920 by 1080 resolution. 30 frames per second. 2 seconds long. Background color is black. And press OK. Let's import our project file. Right click on project window. Import in file. You can download the file from the link in description. Then, create a new comp. Rename it to text. Make sure background color is black. And press OK. Now let's type our text. Go to toolbar and select horizontal type tool. Let's type our text. Bullet. I am using Insana Burger with cheese font. And make sure all caps is turned on. Align it to the center and the anchor points too. This will be our main comp. Now create a new comp. Rename it to text plus texture. Make sure background color is black. And press OK. Now go to project window. Select the background image and place it to the comp. Again go to the project window. Select the text comp. Drag and drop it above the background image. Now select the background image. Let me toggle the switches. And change its track mat to alpha mat. If you don't find this, right click here. Columns and modes. Now our texture layer is ready. Let's head to the main tutorial. Go to Bullet Train Comp. Select the Text Plus Texture Comp in Project Window. Drag and drop it to the comp. I am renaming it to Blur 1. Now go to Effects and Presets. Search for Motion Tile. Drag and drop it to the Blur 1 comp. Go to Effects Control Panel and change the tile width to 0. Then go to 5 frames forward. Select the Blur 1 comp and press P and keyboard to open its position properties. Select the position. Right click and select separate dimensions. Now we have our X and Y values separately. Make sure you are in the fifth frame. I am changing the X value position. Drag it outside the comp. And set a key frame. Then go to 5 frames forward. And change its position towards right side of the comp. Now we have the text passing by. Then turn on the motion blur icon of the blur 1 comp. And make sure the motion blur in switch set also turned on. This blur will give more depth to our animation. Select both the keyframes. Right click. Keyframe Assistant. And Easy Ease. Now let's change its color. Go to Effects and Presets. Search for Ramp. Drag and drop it to the Blur 1 comp. I am leaving the default settings as it is. Then, duplicate the Blur 1 comp. Select the Blur 1 comp. Go to Edit. And Duplicate. Now delete the ramp in Blur 2 comp. Then make sure Blur 2 comp is selected. And press U in keyboard to open the keyframes. Go to 10th frame. Select both the keyframes. And drag those to the 10th frame. Now our Blur 1 and 2 follows each other. You can adjust the keyframes according to your ideas. I am just showing you the path. Now let's head to the final animation. Select the Blur 2 comp. 
Go to Edit. And Duplicate. Rename it to Final Text. Go to Effects Controls. And delete the Motion Tile. Now press U and Keyboard to open the keyframes. Go to 12th Frame. Select the first keyframe. And drag it to the 12th frame. Then go to 15th frame. Here we have a keyframe that was created before. Delete the keyframe on the 15th frame. Select the final text comp. Right click. Transform. And choose fit to comp. Now our final text is into the comp. Here our basic bullet train animation is ready. As a add on. I would like to add a custom wiggle to the text. Make sure the final text is selected. Go to Effects and Presets. And search for Wiggle. Select the Wiggle position. And drag and drop it to the final text comp. Let's adjust few settings. Open Effects in the final text comp. Open the Wiggle position properties. Now go to the 10th frame. And change the wiggle speed to 0 seconds. And wiggle amount to 0 pixels. Create a keyframe on both. Now go to the 20th frame. And change the wiggle speed to 5 seconds. And wiggle amount to 20 pixels. Now move to 1 second. And change both the values to 0. Now select all the keyframes. Right click. Keyframe Assistant. And Easy Ease. That's all, our bullet train animation is ready. Let's RAM preview. Hope you like this tutorial. Do subscribe our channel for more videos. Let's learn together. Meet you in the next video. Good day.